Hello again. As I've probably mentioned before, my admiration for the British police these days is very far from being unbounded. While hesitating to use expressions like a scruffy bunch of devils whom I would not trust as far as I could throw them, I think it fair to say that I do not quite respect them as much as I did in the 1960s, so. Nevertheless, when I see a hatchet job being performed on them by a bunch of aggressive foreigners, I do feel prompted to come to their defence, if not physically, then verbally. Yesterday, a vicious and unprovoked assault was carried out against a female police officer at Manchester Airport, whose nose was broken by a violent man who happened to be a Muslim. We know that he was Muslim because a crowd of Muslims surrounded the police station in Rochdale last night, demanding his release from custody. In addition to the woman whose nose was broken, two other officers were in that they required hospital treatment. None of this was, of course, filmed. Following these attacks, an emergency was declared because when three officers are down in an airport, and those attacking them are obviously foreign Muslims, the fear is, of course, that this may be a terrorist attack. This is particularly so because of the heightened fear at the moment, following the conviction of Anjem Chowdhury for running an Islamist terrorist organisation, and also the attack on the army officer outside the base in Kent. In other words, the situation was already a little tense, with a possibility of um, Islamist terrorist attacks was, were concerned. Firearms officers were dispatched and in the course of the melee the fear was that their weapons would be snatched and perhaps used against them by those who had already injured three other police officers. Given that circumstance one can readily see why feelings were running high and the officers were not inclined to take any chances. They used a great deal of force to ensure that the men who had attacked the other officers were fully subdued. They did not at this point, of course, know what they were dealing with. It was possible that the suspects were armed or were wearing suicide vests. There's all kinds of things that might have been going on. Under those conditions, I don't blame the police at all for their actions. Their only concern was rendering harmless and dangerous men men who had already attacked other officers and who might, for all anybody knew, be part of a terrorist attack at the airport. The film that is circulating across the internet shows a few seconds of an exceedingly violent and unpredictable series of events. It was perhaps inevitable that, following the arrest of those men at Manchester Airport and their detention at Rochdale Police Station, that an angry crowd of Muslims should surround the police station demanding the release of the four men whom they described as their brothers. I am not sanguine about the eventual outcome for the police officer who was the focus of the incident. I suspect that he will be thrown to the wolves. I say this because the Assistant Chief Constable of Manchester has already said that the video he has seen is truly shocking and that it shows images that people are rightly extremely concerned about. Sounds like he's already made his mind up. This man's name is Wazim Chowdhury. Which reminds me, seeing those films of the men outside Rochdale Police Station causes me to think that I've seen the name of Rochdale or in another connection, but I cannot for the moment recollect what it might be. I'm sure it will come to me. You know what old people's memories are like.